Now to the invasive species of quagga and zebra mussels. They've caused some serious problems for some major bodies of water here in Utah. So to talk about the ways that they are trying to stop the spread is Nathan Owens from the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources. So let's talk about the quagga mussel. Why is it a problem? Why are we worried about it? And where did it come from? Good question. It originally came from Eurasia. It was brought over to the United States by a transoceanic ship that brought in some uh, ballast water, introduced it to the Great Lakes, finally over the course of a couple decades made its way west, showed up in Lake Mead in 2007, and that's when all the western states became aware that this was a problem on their doorstep and we needed to rally and put together some watercraft inspection and decontamination programs. And it's bad. It hurts boats, it hurts the water. Kind of talk about the problems that these these seemingly innocent <laughs> guys cause. Yeah, they're, they're pretty spectacular actually. They're about the size of your thumbnail. They're an invasive mollusk. Uh, they reproduce like crazy so it doesn't take very long for them to completely take over an ecosystem. Uh, they degrade water quality, they damage boats and equipment, but probably most significant to Utah is the fact that they're famous for clogging water infrastructure and damaging that infrastructure. Which is very expensive and hard to maintain. It is, so yeah. So we don't want these these things cause, causing the problem. So what are you and your team doing across the state of Utah to stop the spread? And are these quagga mussels in some of our bodies of water currently? So quagga mussels in Utah are only presently in Lake Powell. Okay. They've been in Lake Powell since about 2013. We run a statewide watercraft inspection and decontamination program, just making sure that those boats trans, uh, being transported from one water to another are clean before they launch in that water body since quagga mussels are primarily transported by watercraft. And so you do that with um, inspection stations. So let's talk about if I've got my boat and towing it, I'm going, I've been to Lake Powell, let's say I'm going to Willard Bay, what mm -hmm. will I experience when I get to one of these inspection spots? So if you're coming from Lake Powell, it's a little bit unique. So when you retrieve your boat and you're ready to leave, you'll encounter some of our technicians there who will do an exit inspection on your boat, just making sure it's clean of all mud, debris, vegetation, no attached muscles. They'll make sure that all your systems are completely drained as, as much as possible. And then they'll identify your boat as having come from Lake Powell. That way, when you show up at Willard Bay, they can make sure that Again, your watercraft is clean. If there is still a risk based on additional water or such, they can do a hot water decontamination on your boat, which is essentially an exterior hot water wash and then flushing all of your internal systems with hot water as well. So they'll help you. If you get there and you've not done this, there, there'll be people on site who will make sure that you do it correctly and help you out. Absolutely, yeah. And what happens if someone is not being very patient and they're just so excited to get on the water and they don't stop and cooperate with this? There could be some ramifications with that as well. There could be if they fail to stop at a mandatory inspection station. It is a class B misdemeanor. Um, they will be most likely encountered by a law enforcement officer, cited, and then redirected back through the mandatory inspection station. So it, it really doesn't buy you anything if you bypass one of them. It's a very quick process. We try and get you in and out as efficiently as possible. And really you're protecting not only the water in Utah, but your own boat, because that could cause serious issues if, if you kind of get inundated by them. Absolutely. We're, we're trying to help the boater out. Uh, we're trying to maintain access to our reservoirs because we have some spectacular places here in Utah. but. Yeah, if your boat becomes infested and quagga mussels get up in some of those internal systems, you will likely burn out your motor. It's going to be tens of thousands of dollars in damage, so it's, it's a good thing for everyone. Okay, so when you see them, just stop, be polite, and say thank you very much for taking care of me. Nathan Owens here from the Department of Wildlife Resources talking about the STD of the sea. More information online at abc4.com forward slash GMU. Andrew?